Today we had the most terrific grand opening of our science center here at Santiago Canyon College, one that we have been anticipating for such a very long time. It's taken so many years to get to this position, and here we are in a brand new beautiful building with everybody excited, students, faculty, administration, the board, the community. We're just so excited about being able to get this done. This particular building was built uh, a little bit over half under Measure E money back in uh, 2002. We passed a, uh, a bond measure. The community passed it overwhelmingly that allowed us to build uh, buildings throughout our district, and, and half of this building was built uh, using that money, but we also, there was another a bond measure that passed in the state of California that helped fund the rest, and so you can see what we can do, and we have the funds to make it happen for students. What it does for students, uh, you know, it changes lives, uh, they're going to have jobs and families, and, and people will remember this uh, great college as a result of uh, their, their time here in this building, and in the other buildings that are here on this campus, and uh, so I'm very, very pleased with everything that we've been able to accomplish. Well, this uh, building opens up opportunities for future students in the sciences like no other building we've ever had on this campus. Not only will we be able to continue the great science programs that we've had in the, in the past, we will add some uh, new dimensions to our offerings including uh, microbiology and organic chemistry. Those programs could not be offered in the past because they require specialized laboratories. This building has those laboratories and we look so forward to using those labs and training students to go on into the more serious uh, parts of uh, science. What I thought was very inspiring about this building and its program was the fact that the sciences are based in uh, the observation of nature. And so if you look at this building, uh, the, this kit of parts of architectural uh, features and materials are applied in such a way that the building itself is a study of nature. So as you watch how the sun moves around it, uh, it informs basically where we put openings in the buildings and overhangs on the buildings. And so in a sense, the architecture already started uh, the precedent for what's going to happen inside. Even how it's planned uh, with the library which is behind us here, uh, it starts to create an edge to what will be the future quad um, of the campus. And this campus never had this kind of heart, you know, an exterior space. And the Humanities Buildings, which is next, is a mirror copy of this building. It actually is one story higher, but it will extend that edge along the quad and really kind of create a very amazing place on campus. The designs of the buildings that we've had and uh, from the library to our student uh, uh, services building to the uh, science center have been absolutely beautiful buildings. We get comments all the time. I get people stopping me saying, who built those buildings? Who designed those buildings? And so uh, I, I think I keep an LPA card in my uh, lapel pocket just to let them know.